Hey, come on in. It's poor setting Sunday. It's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your eye and a sparkle in your heart because it makes you beautiful. It's an old rainy day. It's an old dreary rainy day. Let me show you how the mountains are all smoky and foggy and but they are beautiful when they're like this. Yes, they are. I don't like the roads to be all foggy and smoky, but yeah, that's what it looks like here today. An old dreary day. Listen, before we get started about the story and hang on and anything else, uh, you prayer warriors out there, I need your prayers. My sister-in-law has been uh, really, really sick. And she's been passing out at the house. And she's passed out and bruised herself from the top of her head to the bottom of her feet on one side and all over her back. And then she fell again and in a store and bumped her head. And so... Uh, yeah, she didn't drive that day, thank God. And then uh, the other day, yesterday, she fell and uh, cut her foot, fractured her back, and Lord knows what else. So they finally found out what's going on with her. It's her heart. They're going to have to do a pacemaker, and uh, you all just keep her in your prayers. She, you know, she prays all the time for everybody else, so... Now she's needing prayer, so. Okay, I know y'all will pray, and I know she's going to be just fine, because God is in control. Yes, he is. He's in control of everything. He's in control whether we want him to be in control or not. He's still in control. Y'all, get your coffee. Get your tea. Get whatever you drink on a cold, rainy day. So, I wanted to tell a story about when my kids was little, we used to go to um, my husband's cousin's house. We went to several of them. His sister's house, his cousin's house, a couple of these cousin's houses. And then sometimes they'd come to ours. Well, we would um, stay all night usually, you know, because the kids loved staying all night with their cousins, their second cousins. And... Um, or is it their second cousin? No, their third cousins. They were all the same age, and they played good together. So, anyway, one day, one time, it was foggy like this, is what made me think of this story. It was foggy like this. Not, it was a little worse than it is right now. And um, me and my husband's cousin's wife, which her name was Donna Jean, and that's her real name. Bless her heart, she passed on now. And uh, all my friends have passed on. The cousins that were my same age has passed on. So I have nobody but you all. Anyway, so me and her, we went to get, uh, we went to the to her house. They was going to stay all night and uh, spend the weekend, actually. So we went, me and her ran to the house to get, ran to her house, which is only a, a about 15, 20 minutes away, not even 20 minutes, about 15 minutes, if that. But anyway, on a foggy night, it's a lot longer. But anyway, we went to get our kids clothes and get them stuff, you know, to, to bath with, and they could have used ours, but Donna Jean was that way. She wanted to make sure her kids had what they needed. So, me and her went to get those clothes. Well, on the way back, it was daylight when we left, but when we was coming back, and it was about this time of year, it was dark, and it was foggy. I mean, it was foggy, foggy. We had to open the door and watch the yellow line in the middle. And she made me drive, because she said, oh, I can't drive, I'm too scared. So, anyway, she uh, made me drive, and we had to uh, keep the door open and look down and drive by the yellow the yellow line, and all the way up through here, uh, up this road, because we lived a little further up the road than, than we do right here. We lived on up, we had built a house up there, which y'all, if you're, I forgot, if you're my old subscribers, my old friends, then welcome back, and if you're new, stick around, 
give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, share me around because I want to travel and you're the only way I'm going to get to. So we lived up the road <laughs> a little further and so she made me driving all the way up through there. I was singing to her. Follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. And she was getting so mad at me that I told her, I said, you can't get scared. You, you just have to deal with what you've got thrown in front of you and deal with it. So she was, she would try not to laugh at me. And she'd say, she called me Sue instead of Susie. She called me, she said, Sue, I swear you're crazy. I said, I keep telling everybody I'm not right, that I'm crazy. And she said, now I know you are. But all the way home, I was singing to her, follow the yellow brick road, follow the yellow brick road. Follow, 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 follow the yellow brick road. <laughs> but those are good memories with my, my friends. I called her my friend. She was a good friend. And, um, but anyway, I just wanted to come in and tell you that story. And it's not real, real cold out today, but... Uh, you know, it is rainy and dreary, and uh, the boys went to their dad's for the weekend, so me and Rain's here by herself, and he's not felt good all weekend, so y'all keep him in your prayers, too. He's in a lot of pain still, and I don't know why, but you know what? If he had to have babies, we wouldn't have the first one, because he, he has a low, low pain tolerance. Maybe I ought to bust him in the nose, and he'd forget all about his shoulder and start about his nose. I shouldn't act like that, but he is in pain, and I know he's in pain, so, but he is cooking dinner today, so he's feeling a little bit better. Uh, we're having pork chops uh, in the oven with mushroom soup on top of them. That makes a gravy. Have you ever had it like that? Um, you know, I'll cook for you all. I'll share my recipes with you all, but it's going to be a long video if I cook a whole dinner, and we're going to have to chit-chat, and it'll have to be a live video, and, um, you know, so it'll have to be that, and sometimes there's too much month for the end of the money, so um, I might have to do it in the beginning of the month, so... Um, okay, well, listen, I'm going to get off here, and I'm going to get it back in the house, and uh, we got to go. Well, I don't. Uh, my husband goes and picks up the boys at the drop-off place at 6 o'clock, so i got to get in here and get some things done before my babies get home. They're not babies anymore, but they're babies to me. Caden turned 16 on, on the 5th of January. And Avery will be 14 on the, on April the 3rd. Oh, my goodness, I'm dealing with teenagers. Help! Y'all help. <laughs> They're good kids, though. Caden opens the door for me. He helps me out of the truck. Avery does the same thing. He'll take and hold his hand out like this for Grandma to take a hold of. And he helps me out of the truck. He doesn't have to do that, but he likes doing it. And they get mad if I go ahead and open the door and get out. They say, you should have waited on us, Grandma. Or they call me Mama. And the little babies, the little tiny ones, call me Gigi. And I love it. I love being a Grandma. That's a, my best, best thing in the world to be. So, anyway, I want to say goodbye. Not goodbye. So long. Till, till Wednesday? Is, no, it's Tuesday. Tuesday, Wednesday. No, Wednesday. Is it Tuesday? Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. <laughs> so long till Wednesday. I think I'll do another get ready with me. Or leave me a comment and let me know what you want to see or what you want to hear. Or, or we may do a chit chat and a get ready with me. And do a Valentine's Day look if you all want one. Just let me know. And I'll give you some tips on my hair how I make it look thicker than what it really is and so you all tell me what you want to hear tell me what you want to see and I'll do it I'm so grateful to all of my subscribers all of my followers everyone that supports me that you know sends me good vibes prayers everything you all just don't know how grateful I am and how much I appreciate everything that you say, everything that you do. 
I mean, just, I love it. I love you all. I think the... Mm, I just think the world of you. I can't get my words out. I can't split or splutter them out. So, anyway, I hope you all know how much I love you. I miss you. I'm glad that I'm back. And I just need your prayers. I need your support in getting my monetization back. I never made any money before, but um, I've been on for four years and only made uh, $400. That's a hundred dollars a year so that's better than nothing but here lately I haven't made anything but anyway that's enough about money I swore I wasn't going to talk about money I'm going to do the best I can do with what I get and what I got I love you guys Mwah. see you in the next one bye